Silence, come you watch the red sunrise. The LED still flickers in your eyes. Hi, I'm Yuha and I'm a hockey player here at USC. I will be going through some fixed concepts and examples with you this semester. And remember, just like on the ice, there's no such thing as luck in physics. Just keep your head up and work hard. Drag in a fluid is a good context for a little bit of a calculus and algebra exercise. So what we are going to do is uh, we'll derive expression for a velocity when uh, an object is falling through a medium that exerts some kind of a drag force, in this case kV, to the object. So Newton's second law states we are in the y direction that the, uh, the sum of the force is mg, so positive direction is down, minus kV equals mass times acceleration. And uh, acceleration, as always, is the derivative of velocity with respect to time. So you can already get an idea where we're going from here. So we would like to separate the uh, variables to their respective sides and follow through with an integration. But uh, before we do that, uh, uh, let's uh, refresh and remember that when this one is zero, the net force is zero, that's when we have the vertical velocity. So in that case, uh, I mean the terminal velocity, and that's also of course mg over k, as you can solve easily from here. So uh, in other words, we can say that mg is uh, vt times k, and we'll plug this vt over here. And what do we get then? So we have vt times k minus k times v equals dv over dt, and then there's the mass. So now we'll separate the variables, or uh, let's combine some stuff first here. So here we have k as a common factor, so we have k vt minus v, the v is the velocity at any given time, and uh, m times dv over dt. So everything with the v goes on the other side, and everything with the d to the other side, with t to the other side. So uh, let's make some room here, go from here. So uh, the other hand, on the left hand side we have km over dt, and then bring those v's to the right hand side, we have dv over vt minus v. And now we can integrate, so k over m, that's a constant, and we integrate here over time, some initial time 0, to some arbitrary time t, only d d, and uh, on the right hand side we, from uh, initial velocity, let's say 0, for simplicity, to some velocity v at time t. And what do we have here? We have dv divided by vt minus v. So the left hand side is pretty straightforward. So what do we do on the right hand side? You may remember from calculus that the integral of a derivative divided by the actual function is same as the logarithm of the actual function, L and F. So here we have our function minus v plus some constant and derivative of minus v is uh, just a minus one. So as long as we arrange minus sign here, we are good to go. So uh, let's uh, evaluate the left hand side first. So km, and that's going to be just 0 from t times t, that's the integral of dt, and uh, here on the right hand side we have minus 
ln of the function itself, vt minus v, like this. So uh, if we take the derivative of ln vt minus v, we get 1 over vt minus v times minus, exactly like we have here. All right, now we can uh, put the limits in. So on the left-hand side, it's only going to be km. That's going to be uh, t, the upper limit minus the lower limit, 0, like this. And on the, okay, we can also bring this minus sign on this, on the left-hand side to make things simpler here. So we just have to make those, uh, put the limits in their place. So substitute v for v. So it's going to be the vt. And we substitute for this one first minus the lower limit vt. The lower limit is 0. So upper limit, lower limit. And uh, let's clean this up. So this is going to be minus km. Oh, there's a mistake. So there's no t there. It's k divided by m, of course, like this. So k over m times t. And here we have ln vt minus v minus ln vt. So what about this one then? So you might remember that for logarithms it applies that ln a plus ln b, oh, of course, uh, minus is same as ln a over b. So in this case we get It's the same ln of vt minus v divided by vt. And then we raise both sides to the power of e to get rid of the uh, logarithm on the right hand side. So this becomes e to the power of minus kmt equals, that just kills the logarithm, so we are left with vt minus v over vt. And uh, multiply with the other side, vt times the exponent equals vt minus v. And from here we get the uh, actual v at any given point in time. So v goes to the left hand side and that goes to the other side. So on the right hand side we have common term vt, 1 minus exponent times minus km times t. And this is the expression we saw in the overview video as well the velocity when the, the drag force is proportional to the velocity. Um, the reason I did this is that uh, this type of uh, equation pops up quite often in, in physics and especially mechanics and uh, it eventually leads or inevitably leads to a integration where the natural logarithm pops up. So uh, this is really useful to remember for future reference more than the uh, actual result that we got here.